Hey there, kings and queens. Thank you so much for clicking my video. In today's video, this wig is brought to you by Fabulosity Hair. The link below to this wig, their direct store, and all their contact information will be in the description box. On their website, they have these really cute on-the-go stylish bonnets. Feel free to check those out as well if you're interested. Fabulosity was kind enough to send me a full lace wig. It comes with adjustable straps, a elastic band, and combs attached. The production time, if you're wondering, is four weeks. Shipping time, five to seven days to receive it after. The lace on this wig is Swiss lace, and I'm really happy that it already comes lightly tinted in brown. This is a handmade wig. The color shown is natural black 1B. The length is 24 inches and this is their butterfly lock full lace wig. On the hairline and in the nape area, they went ahead and braided the baby hairs. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pull that right out. In the nape area, I cut down the baby hairs because it was a little too long for my liking. And right there, I'm just taking my curling iron and curling it underneath so it could just look a little bit more natural. Now I'm taking this product called the Wiggoo Rules in the shade Caramel Frappe. This is a lace tint. I'm going to use one layer of this. So I'm mostly spraying it on the hairline. Then I'm going to go in and blow dry until it's completely dry. When I start installing the wig on myself, I don't want the baby hairs to get in my eye, so I'm just cutting down the baby hairs that's by the forehead. Now I'm going to take this pair of Revlon tweezers and go in and pluck out some of the hairs from the hairline. It's just a little too thick for me. Right here, the parts that is parted, I'm just going in with some powder and applying it on top of the lace only because right there in that center with full lace wick, it has a extra material of lace there. So it makes it very hard to apply the lace, I mean the product underneath the lace and to get it to show through the other side. So to make sure I don't miss that, I'm just going in and applying some makeup powder.
Hey there, so it's now time for the install. I'm gonna go in with a brown nude stocking cap underneath the wig. Right there by the air tab, it is definitely longer than my hairline, but I don't want to cut it off because that air tab is already braided into the braid. So I'm going to try my best to make it work. I'm going to use this olive oil super hold spray, and I'm just spraying one layer of this to hold down the hairline for this wig show and tell. If you use this spray or glue or whatever you like to use to hold down your hairline so it can stay throughout the day or week, I recommend more than one layer. Because one layer would definitely lift up in this heat as soon as you go outside and start sweating. So first I am just starting by the ears and then I'm just going to work my way over to the other air tab. Just a friendly reminder, if you use spray to hold down your hairline, make sure you lightly comb the roots of the hair because when that spray runs down onto the roots of the hair, it makes it sticky and then it starts to leave this white residue so you don't want that. So I like to just comb it out to get it nice and soft again. All right, so my baby hairs took a little longer than usual. I was trying to figure out how I want it. You know, I'm working with braids. So I want the hairline and the baby hairs to pop, but I don't want it to be too, too dramatic. So right here, I just took my time and played with it. It took a while, but here's a few clips of me getting the baby hairs the way I got it in the end results.
I use the Eco Styling Gel. I hope I said it right. And I don't think I mentioned this, but the knots on the wig do not come bleached. So I'm going in with some powder again on top of the lace to help hide those knots, but also help hide the lace a little bit more. All right, you guys, so right here is my end results and I hope you like. I did a left side part and that left side part is giving me mm, scalpiana vibes. It's definitely looking like a scalp. I do wish the hairline came plucked a little bit more jagged. It's still pre-plucked, but I just wish it was plucked a little bit more, especially by me, but hey, it's still a dope wig. So again, this wig comes as 24 inches and I must say it does fall as 24 inches on me. My height is 5'6". One thing I love about this wig is it's not too much locks on the wig. It's just the right amount. So it still look natural, but it's also not giving me, mm, what's the word, a helmet head? And making my head look too big so i definitely like that this wig definitely come with a weight it is nothing that's gonna break your neck or give you a headache but it does have some weight to it and remember this is butterfly lock so it's definitely gonna have some weight i really like the parting shapes that she did on this wig you have triangles you have a few squares like it's just not the perfect parting space but i like that i like that a lot the locks also do not come as the same length you have some long ones you have some short ones and at first i was a little iffy about that but to be honest it's fine because that's how dreadlocks really is in real life sometimes I know if I tied the hairline down, it will blend in more with my skin and give a really nice melt look. But because I have another wig show and tell to do after this, I'm just making this a quick wig show and tell. So if you're interested in this wig and what it looks like on the website, now you know what it looked like and I hope you like it. I feel like the butterfly locks come really neatly constructed. And I personally feel like they would not unravel easily. So this is definitely a really good buy. Now I'm going to attempt to do another style with this wig. This is what it looked like as a middle part. And now I'm just going to try two buns at the top. to get this wig and two buns was a lot of work i got a workout okay i have bad news so i did lose clip footage i deleted it by accident when i was clearing my storage of me having the two space buns but in the end i'll be sure to insert some pictures All right, these space buns is really cute. All I'm missing is some jewelry. Yes, one of my space buns is a little bigger than the other. One of them have one more lock than the other one, but it's still cute. Hey, who's watching? You feeling it or not? Nah? So let me know your thoughts, you guys. If you guys have any questions, though, feel free to comment below and I get back to them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video if you would like, if you liked it, or if you want to help a sister out. And I'll see you in my next video. Later, you guys.